Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is the Big K Cup 360 here, and I've been looking at Call of Duty over the past few years, and I've been truly asking myself, is Call of Duty dying? Now, firstly, let me let me answer this question firstly on the PC platform, because I can speak for that through facts and figures. Yes, on the PC platform, Call of Duty is currently dying. Now, if you go on Steam at the moment. I'm pretty sure Steam, uh, the statistics aren't loading at the moment, but for the most part, Call of Duty Ghosts sells less, or is played less, than Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That is how bad Ghosts actually was. Ghosts was, Ghosts was probably just one of the worst Call of Duty games of all time. Now, I know that's a big thing to say, but, like, on the main platforms, Ghosts was bad, man. The game was... I didn't even think it was bad, to be honest. Let me reword that. The game was average. It was so average, man. The game was just... It was average campaign, average multiplayer, average everything. It didn't bring anything new at all. And don't give me that, um... What is it? Extinction mode? Or whatever the hell it's called. No, get the hell out of here. That crap is, is stupid. So, anyway, let's look at actual facts and figures. Now let me get this straight. Before I let, before I even talk about this, I like COD. I like Call of Duty. I like the COD franchise. I reckon the last best or the last good COD was probably Black Ops One. What was after Black Ops One? MW. After that Black Ops One, we had MW Three. MW Three was trash. Black Ops Two was okay. Yeah, the last great COD was Black Ops One, definitely. And then MW Two before that, COD Four before that. But anyway, let's take a look at Call of Duty popularity, um, and here I'm using Google Trends. So this isn't obviously the best way to figure it out, but I've also got sales figures via Wikipedia, and yes, I have verified these, so you know, just chill the hell out. So let's take a look. 2009, Call of Duty, no, 2008, Call of Duty War That War. Look at where it is on the graph, it's at 65, I don't know what 65 represents, but it was at 65, um, it's a shame I don't know what it represents, but just look at where it's at on the graph, 65, okay, so it was at a pretty good point there, COD was building up steam, we just came off the beastliness that was uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, MW1, COD 4, at 57, and then you had to build up at 65. Now, keep in mind, Treyarch developed that, so, you know, people weren't really looking forward to it. However, 2009, we had MW2 at 56. Um, it, no, not 56, 80, sorry. Look, that's close to peak. Very big. People loved MW2. Fucking great game, man. Great game. Now, of course, he had the BS at the start, but you know, whatever. Let's continue. Then it peaked completely. And what I believe is one of the best COD games of all time, if not the best. Black Ops 1. Look at that. November 2010. Peak interest of 100. 100 peak interest. That was the highest point COD got in terms of searches, image searches, YouTube video. This takes into account everything, I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we go. Take into account web search. Let me go image search for you guys. I'm sure there'll be... You see, image search, it's not, a, it's not a very good way of doing it. Let's go YouTube search. Uh, YouTube search. Look, it's pretty much the same story. It peaks up at 2010. With Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 1, and you know, MW2, uh, 2009, and scores 73, and you know, drops off a bit. But getting back to the na the main web search, because that's what people do when they search, they type it into Google first. We peak here at 2010 with Black Ops 1, and then shit kind of starts to drop off a bit. You have MW3, well, it's pretty much, <laughs> the game was okay, but uh, I, I really did not like MW3 at all, personally. That's just my opinion. You don't have to believe me, and excuse me, my brother's singing in the background, but MW3 just wasn't that good of a game, and as you can see, it kind of came down a bit. And then you come down to look at this, Black Ops 2, November 2012, all-time low of 49 points, guys. 49 in terms of interest with Black Ops 2. That was when things were really going downhill from Call of Duty. After MW3, people were pissed off, man. This is where the same old crap thing started from, MW3, and then it just killed Black Ops 2. And then, you know, you had all this, you know, this little area where nothing was happening, and you had uh, Ghosts. And look where Ghosts is. It's a, Even though it's an Infinity Ward game, look where it is. It's sitting at, what is it, 66. Come on. Not that good. So clearly, there's been a drop-off since the peak interest of Black Ops 1. Call of Duty Ghosts. 
Advanced Warfare is lucky that it's the type of game which legitimately looks different. It actually looks like something new. Ghosts, man. It was such an average game. But as you can see at the moment, by these figures, we can see that COD is slowly starting to drop off a bit. And this is representative of just web searching. So don't take this completely into mind. Or just take this with a slight grain of salt. But you can see right here. Now let's get onto actual video game sales. At the moment, the top selling COD game of all time is Modern Warfare 2, MW2, and it was only released on three platforms, Windows, 360, PS3. Um, top selling game at the moment at 28.5 million. Uh, and then you look at the next one, MW3. The only reason MW3 is at 26.5 million is because of the success of MW2. If MW2, if, sorry, if MW3 was named something different or came out at a different time, oh, this would be way down. This would be at ghost level. So, yeah, that's there, but keep that into mind. So, yeah, whatever. We have Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 at 26.2 million. Now, obviously, you're going to look at Black Ops 1 and you're going to look at the Google Trends and you're going to be like, well, what is going on? But Black Ops 1, it had the interest and it still had millions of people buying it. I mean, look at this, 26.2 million. That's a lot of people. Call of Duty around the MW2, MW3, Black Ops 1 time was still very popular. Very, very popular. And then here's when we start to see things drop off. Black Ops 2, 24.2 million. Now, it still seems like a lot, but keep in mind that people are buying it simply because it's a COD game. Not because of its popularity, but more because it's a COD game. And you're going to get that guaranteed Call of Duty formula. So we saw 24.2 million sales. However, it was starting to go down. And then here we go. The piece of crap game, Call of Duty Ghosts, all-time lows, 19 million. Now, of course, I'm going to keep into... I'm going to keep in mind, sorry, that Call of Duty Ghosts came out in November last year. It hasn't even had one full year. However, it's not going to sell many more copies. Go, um, Advanced Warfare is about to come out. This isn't going to go past 21 million, I don't think. MW2 was a different story where people just loved it. But this, God goes, no, this, this game killed a lot of COD's credibility. So that's just going to kind of like stay there. And look, look at the amount of platforms this was on. Windows, 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Wii U. This was on six platforms compared to the three of MW2. And the three of uh, Black Ops 2, or oh, Black Ops 2 was only on three platforms, no, four. And ugh, you guys get the point. It had so many more platforms. It had the what's what's the word the momentum of the next gen consoles yet still it's been heavily outsold by its predecessors because the call of duty name is decreasing in popularity people are starting to legitimately get pissed off at it and it's reflecting in sales figures and then obviously look at cod 4 and world at war but of course these games were not at Call of Duty's peak, so those are respectable sales numbers. So just, you know, leave COD 4 and COD World at War alone. So as you can see, the big dogs up here, especially MW2, Black Ops 1, MW3 piggybacking off MW2. Um, Black Ops 2 was, you know, where things started to go hit downhill, and of course, this piece of crap game called Ghosts. So what can we say after looking at all this information and deconstructing it? Yes, at the moment, Call of Duty's name is starting to decrease a bit. You know, it's not the best of games at the moment, and it's not really peaking in popularity. However, with the Advanced Warfare, there's a lot of interest in it, and we might see a re ramping of the Call of Duty franchise. So anyway, guys, thank you for looking at these sales numbers. I wanted to teach you guys something with some real figures, some real uh, economics, or not economics is the word, some real business. When you're actually looking at numbers and you're looking at you know, the impacts and what whatnot. So anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later.